holding us right over the top of the structure. That's perfect. Well, welcome back, folks. We're still sitting off Cape Canaveral here. We got Captain Jim Ross with us, and we're still trying to put a few more flatties in the in the cooler for dinner before we go try something else. Hopefully, we're gonna get a couple more of these fish and show you a few. So Blair, you know we're here in the fall of the year, late October, early November, and uh, the fall mullet run is going on up and down the, the Space Coast right now. So we've got a lot of bait to choose from, and there's a lot of different fish that you can, you can actually catch. The mullet's going crazy down there. You feel it just jumping right through that braid all the way up the end of that rod. Fish on, baby. There you go. It feels like a little sea bass. Coming together. Oh, it might have just turned into a flounder. Got that head just going off. Oh, I see yeah. a flatfish. It's a flatty. I see a flatty. <laughs> you know, one thing about flounder fishing, it's fun to do, but for the person on the couch sitting there watching, it's not that fun to watch. But if y'all ever get a chance to come fish with Jimmy and do this, it is a load of fun and probably one of the best eating fish out of the ocean. And none of them are small. None of them are little dinks. Yeah, you don't have yeah. to worry about catching the <laughs> yeah, undersized ones. Yeah, you don't have to bring your uh, measuring tape out here, <laughs> no do you? measuring tape needed. <laughs> Come on, open up, baby. Uh, I see your pliers, sir. Sure thing. You know, I'd stick my finger down there, but those teeth. Man, are... them teeth are. I got that D hooker too. If you want that D hooker. Okay, grab it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, getting a little there nibble. Yes, sir. That right there fish. is the targeted species. That is the prettiest taste and ugly thing there's ever been right there. Huh? What is it about? What is it about seafood? The uglier it is, it's like <laughs> the, the better, better it tastes. Taste. I don't know. Can you imagine the first person to eat a lobster <laughs> or an oyster, <laughs> for that matter. I imagine fighting a crab to get what's inside of it out. You know, good grief! But we do it. That's a slab of meat right there. Nice slab. Wreck fishing. Gotta love it. We're throwing these finger mullet down there. And uh, you know we get a lot of flounder this time of the year, so we want to try and see if we can get a, a couple of those big flat Canaveral flatties. The old knocker rig. Before I send this guy down, I want to show you what it is. It's basically a simple knocker rig. We have a swivel right here and a weight right there. And what it does, it knocks in between the swivel and the hook. And that's basically, you know, just what they call a knocker rig. If you've ever wondered what a knocker rig looks like, that's it. We're going to go down and knock one in the head. I'm using the eight footer, uh, 20 pound test, XS spins on there. Nice eight strand braid line, super smooth stuff. This is a 4,000 size reel. We're in 57 feet of water and uh, this rig will get it done. Dude, is that spot lock awesome or what? I love that thing. We're talking about the spot lock. It's the Minn Kota up on the front of the boat. Instead of throwing anchors out now, as Sam Heaton from Minkota calls it, an electric anchor. Pull up to the spot, you see it on your depth finder, you hit your anchor button and it locks you right into the spot. And by the time you drift back over, just like we just did, you're sitting, we're sitting perfect right on top. Ooh. And we're dead on it right we're now. We're sitting we? right on top of the spot. No more pulling anchors. Come on, you can do it. Come on. There we go. Sea bass. All right, got something. Bumped off the wreck and it went about two or three feet and whatever this was picked it up. It's holding pretty tight to it. A little shark swimming up. Oh, there's oh. a little flatty. A little flat fish. Oh, brother, we're gonna eat tonight yeah, anyway. Yeah, brother. There's a little You never know what you're gonna get off of these wrecks, but These are some of the tastiest things you're gonna find on them, that's for sure. Tasty, tasty. What's your favorite way you like cooking them suckers up? To be honest with you, Blair, like you said, stuffing them with some, some crab meat or some sauteed shrimp and garlic is always good, but you know what? I grew up in the South, man. I like them fried, I like too. them fried, boy. Nothing wrong with some fried flounder. They work. We can take them like that all day long. Definitely.
Oh, 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 get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, he's snipping on it. Oh! These guys, they stage in deeper water throughout the year. And then uh, in the fall, they kind of move a little shallower. And then as it gets colder, they'll even move all the way into in the inlets. Uh, they'll move uh, you know, right up to Canaveral Harbor. They'll move inside of Sebastian Inlet. They'll move inside of Ponce Inlet. All the East Florida coast will start to get these fish as they transition in following the, the temperature break and the, and the bait that's, that's moving inward towards the beach most of the time. We're right on it again. We're just, just hovering right over the top of this thing. It's perfect. Oh, that's a fish. It feels yeah, like something. All right, and he's coming up, whatever he is. Oh, that looks like a flatty. And he's shaking his head, whatever he is. You can always tell those flounder, man. They just they feel like a board coming up through the water or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice one, bro. Oh, yeah. That's what we're here for. Dinner. Shake that head, brother. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, you caught your dinner. Yes, I did. What, do you what else do you think we can get? I don't know. Let's just keep wreck hopping and see what there is to see. I mean, we got some flounders off of this one, and you know, we never know. We'll pop up to the next one and see what we find up there. See if we can avoid those elusive, almost extinct red snapper. We got to stay away from those guys. <laughs> well, y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more addictive fishing. Captain Jim Ross, uh, wreck hopping, I guess you'd call it, right off the Space Coast. We'll be right back.